right, everybody. This is Kelly Williams, and I am about to go live with the gorgeous and amazing, newly crowned Miss Texas America, the Ellie Bro, everybody. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Stay tuned, grab your coffee, and uh, come on right back with us because we're going to have a fun show today and find out all about this amazing young lady. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. It's time to tune in and turn on your happy. You're watching The Kelly Williams Show. Don't forget, you can watch it anytime on the best network ever, your home TV. And also streaming on Roku. So get ready, because it's time for The Kelly Williams Show. All right, we're back. Yay! Okay, so everybody... This is Kelly Williams with the Kelly Williams Show, Bay Area Houston Magazine, and your home TV. And I've got the one, the only, Ellie Bro, the newly crowned Miss Texas America, everybody. Yay! Okay, so I'm, I'm so excited. So first of all, Ellie, where are you from? Yeah, so I am from Fresno, Texas, which is just south of Missouri City, uh, 35 minutes from Galveston. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a it's not that far no. from here. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of close to everything there. Yes, absolutely. I'm kind of close to Sugarland, Missouri City. Houston is like 35 minutes. I'm like right in the middle south of Houston. Yeah, you're all cuddled right 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 there in that cozy. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask you this. So your life has been completely changed. Yes. So exciting. What was the very first pageant you ever competed in? So most people don't really know this about me, but when I was in daycare, I went to this daycare called Cadacious and they had like little daycare pageants. And so I participated in those at like five or six, uh, but it wasn't really like a pageant like Miss America or yeah. Miss USA. It was just a small daycare pageant. Yeah. Uh, but then my very first Miss America local was Miss Keller. And that was in 2020. And I won this. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So you just started. Um, okay. So you won Miss Keller. Yes. And did you go any further than that in, in 2020? Yeah. So in 2020, I won Miss Keller and then unfortunately COVID happened. And so we weren't able yeah. to compete. So oh. I didn't my Miss Keller title for that year until 2021. Um, okay. And then that's where I placed second runner up to Mallory Fuller, my girl, <laughs> my first time ever competing, <laughs> which is kind of insane because it's like 45 to 50 of us competing. Uh, then yeah. I on to win Miss Park Cities. I placed fourth runner up in 2022. So I was staying in top five. I was like, okay, this is something <laughs> that I need to continue to do. And then this year as Miss Tarrant County, I went ahead and snatched that crown. <laughs> you got it. Got it. Well, I, 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 congratulations. We're so excited for you. Um, you know, it was this, I mean, I guess competing in a, a little daycare pageant was something when you were growing up, was this something that was always a dream of yours? No. No, really? I, so I, I'm a dancer. So passion, yeah. my dance is passion. And I just always was like, okay, if I do something, dance is going to be a part of it. I danced at yeah. the University of Texas. I did rhythmic gymnastics for 10 years. I never thought oh that I would God. have a crown and sash on me. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't even know what this organization was until I, honestly, until after I won Miss Keller. When I won Miss Keller, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought I was just winning Miss Keller. She's like, no, you're competing for Miss Texas. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody like, told us. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Because I didn't know that we were doing all that. <laughs> exactly. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, and it shows. It shows. Absolutely. Okay, so um, I, I want to know, what do you remember when you were getting crowned Miss oh Texas God. America? I don't remember. That's the problem. <laughs> Rewind that tape. I need to look and see what was happening. Literally, I have to go and watch the video of wow. how I reacted because even if I think about it right now, like I don't know. Like I blacked out so hard because it was so much happening. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, exactly. Wow, wow. Like in the videos, you can see I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Like I'm just speechless, shocked, excited. Tears were just rolling down my face. It was insane. It was yeah. Like, so exciting. I, I'm telling you, it's, it was really an exciting moment for you. And, um, and guys, really quickly, if you're just tuning in, I have Miss Texas America, Ellie Bro, live right now on the show. And you can comment 
Yes. Tell us where you're watching from. Say hi to Ellie right here on the show. We're excited to have her today. Um, okay, so the Miss America system, as most people know, has a talent competition. And you said you're a dancer. So this was very exciting for you to be able to incorporate this in competing. Um, how long did you tra how long have you trained or and what did you do to train for your talent for Miss Texas America? Yeah, so I started dancing at the age of five. I was very young. I started dancing. I was doing splits at the age of three. So my mom was like, you have to go somewhere. I just came out doing splits and cartwheels in the kitchen. Exactly. She it's becoming unsafe. We need right. to move you somewhere to do this. Exactly. And so after I started dance at the age of five, I ended up going into rhythmic gymnastics at the age of seven. Oh, my goodness. I competed for, ten, or I competed for eight years in rhythmic gymnastics. And then I went on to college and I did the University of North Texas dance team where I competed in Daytona. I also competed locally at, in Houston as well. So I've just been training kind of my whole life as a dancer. And then for this year during my talent, I trained at a rhythmic gymnastics studio here in Keller actually. And then I just kind of poured my heart and soul onto the stage. Yeah, it's and I, and I watched the talent competition part of yours, and it was incredible. Um, that people have a chance to go back and watch her um, talent competition at Texas America. Please go watch it. Really, you did amazing. It was absolutely yeah. beautiful. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> really incredible. Um, it's a hard sport. So to yeah, oh no, it is a sport. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, so, so, Ellie, if people don't know about um, pageants or what it entails, what do you compete in it, uh, in the America system? What are your um, categories that you compete yeah. in? So we compete in private interview, which is a 10 minute long interview with just the judges, you and the judges. Ah, they want to yeah. get to know just you. And then you also have talent, which I was a dancer, so I did talent. Um, and then you have evening gown. You strut your stuff on the stage in an evening gown. And then you also have fitness. They incorporated fitness this year. And oh, just, I like it. Yes, you just strut your stuff in a cute little fitness outfit, just showing how confident you are. And then the last thing you do is on stage question, where the judges have a chance to ask you a question, either about the job of Miss Texas or the job of Miss America, or something about your social impact initiative. So. Oh, I love that. But they're categories that showcase who you really are. Absolutely. And, you know, you're all gorgeous and amazing. So it's really, it, this really gives the judges a chance to say what lets you stand out because yes. any of these young ladies could be Miss America, you know, or yes. Miss Texas America. So this is it's, judging. This is a really big deal and it's really exciting because, um, you know, it gets you to step out of a, a little box if you've never done these kind of things before for a lot of girls. So this is really yeah. wonderful, you know? Yeah. It's um, so many public skills too, just like public speaking and yes, skills that you probably wouldn't learn in college. No, absolutely. <laughs> Unless you take those classes, you won't. Right. right. You know. Um, okay, so I have to tell you one yes. thing that I it probably made me start crying when I first saw it. But when you won the reaction to the other contest of the other contestants that you won they're yeah. jumping and screaming on stage and i'm thinking this is what it's supposed to be like right here Absolutely. this is that exact reaction that you are hoping for when somebody wins your pageant that everybody loves her and, yeah. and when it gets down to those top five or top ten or top two whatever it is and they already know that they're not in it but they can either choose to support and love on the person who wins or not. They, I'm telling you, I don't think I'd ever seen anything like that. It was one of the sweetest things when you, and I know you couldn't see it. Um, when you got crowned, when you went back and saw that, how did that make you feel? What were you thought? I was just over the moon, just thankful because yeah. there are, people that, you know, don't want you to succeed. And to see that every girl on that stage was cheering me on and cheering for my success going to Miss America, right. it just made me that much more confident going into Miss America because I have that support system. All those girls were competing for this sash and crown, but Absolutely. I was the one to come out with it. And 
I made sure to, to let them know that, hey, even though I have this sash and crown, I'm still going to represent each and every one of you when I go to Miss America. Like, or at Texas, period. I will be yeah. representing every single girl that competed as well. Yeah. And that's what it's supposed to be because you are, you become that representative for all these sweet young ladies who competed. Absolutely. And, uh, and you know, you're taking a little piece of every one of them with you when you compete at Miss America. And I love that. Yes. I want to know. So how has um, be, becoming Miss Texas America changed your life so far? Oh my gosh. Well, when I <laughs> won, I didn't know where any of my stuff was, including my phone. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, I was like, take my phone for the day. I don't need it. <laughs> like, exactly. Blew up. I mean, there was people that I had no idea who they were just commenting, just showing how much they love and care for me and my platform. And yes. it really just showed like the support system that I have in Texas. We are such a big state. And now I know that I have friends and family that can support me throughout the entire state of Texas. But also it's changed my life just by getting a new car. I got a new car. Oh my gosh. Year. Yeah. That's so, so we, exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a, a car dealer called Sewell and I trade my car out every 3,700 miles. And so now oh. my sister is able to drive my, my own personal car throughout the oh. year of high school. So I'm just like so blessed. Oh give my sister a car while I have a car for a year. Yeah. And also, I will be moving into a hostess house so I won't have to pay rent. What? That's exciting. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, they may know how to make a girl happy. Well, I bet oh, your little your sister is your, one of your biggest fans now. Oh, yes. She is like, girl, I will take the car. I was like, you can have it for the year. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I do get it back. But, I yes, go enjoy. Go enjoy. No drag racing. But, you yeah, know, have fun. Drag racing. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Um, what have you, what do you think you've found yourself thinking or doing differently since you became Miss Texas America? <clears throat> oh, I would say just not taking every moment for granted. Yeah. I realize that life can be short sometimes. And I know that my platform, Cops in the Community, is here to make a difference. And I remember on my onstage question, I said that I was a unifier. And so every time I step out into an appearance or I'm doing an appearance with cops in the community or I'm partnering with patrol stories, I make sure to really portray that message and unify these children and their police officers, but also just unify people. We've been divided for a very long time, but now I've learned that I can actually make a difference and unify Texas and hopefully yeah. America. <laughs> I love, hopefully America, I'm sure. Well, and that's what I wanted to ask you. You know, every pageant girl has a platform. Yeah, it's one of the things because pageants, most most pageants are about community service and helping others. And um, you are all community leaders. Yeah, it's really important. So tell us a little bit more about your platform. Yeah, and what it's called. So my, well, we're now we call it community service initiative, our CSI is uh, cops in the community because my dad is a police officer, my uncle's a police oh. officer, my cousin's a police officer. So I come I from. I love it of law enforcement absolutely that's wonderful i just really wanted to unify our police officers in the community in their communities there's been such a discrimination between those two and being able to bring those two together can hopefully just bridge change and bridge the gap between our societies so that is what i'm trying to do as miss texas and hopefully miss america i, I love it i love it i love it um i want to ask you well, for, two questions really quickly, but the first one, your last name is Bro. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so is anybody there from Louisiana? So I have very extended family from Louisiana. A lot of our family is located in Houston after Katrina. Okay. Uh, but we do have some family in New Iberia that's in Louisiana, but I they're very extended. Okay, no, that's exciting because I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana, originally. So I knew bros there. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to ask her. Yes. That's, that's, that's a Louisiana name right there, bro, the way it's spelled. I love it. Absolutely. And there's like the bro bridge in Louisiana. I'm like, that's right. right. We're, that's deep. We're deep. We're deep. I, lo I loved that. I loved that. <clears throat> what do you think was the hardest part getting ready? to compete at Miss Texas America? 
I will say like three days before I checked in or maybe yeah. four days before I checked in, I was yeah. producing my talent and I am a perfectionist. And so I wanted to make sure that I at least did one run through that was completely perfect yeah. before I went in and checked in. And I kind of caught myself struggling to get a perfect routine. And yeah. I had a mental breakdown <clears throat> because when you want something so bad, but you know that there's 50 other girls that want it just as bad as you, it makes it even yes. harder. So yeah. I had a mental breakdown right before I checked into Miss Texas. And that was the hardest part to jump over and say, you know what? God already has a plan. He already knows who's going to win. So you exactly. have to go in there and be confident and be you. And that's all you can do. Absolutely. And I think that's sometimes what we forget. Yes. Yeah. You know, everything's already, it's okay. It's all done. He just wants us to do our best and go have fun. Yep. Yep. You know, I also so realize that because that's a hard point to realize that. It's already it chosen, but you can just go out there and do your best. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Okay, so I, I, now this is kind of a, a more serious question, but I want to ask you, what do you think competing in, so you've now competed in, this will be your fourth pageant. Is that correct? Fourth or fifth, fourth pageant? What do you think it has taught you about yourself competing in pageants? Oh, I didn't realize how confident I was until I started competing. Yeah. I, when I competed my first local, I kind of was just like, okay, it's just a local, like I'm going to win some scholarship money, but I wasn't super yeah. duper confident in my public speaking. I wasn't super yeah. duper confident in my dancing and yeah. throughout my, my years of competing, I really built that confidence and learned how confident I can be speaking to people in public going on stage and improving, just yeah. different things that I didn't realize I could do that I now know I can do pretty yeah. well um, is something that I've learned throughout the years because public speaking was never on my list of things that I could do confidently. Wow. And, you know, watching you, I would have never thought that. Right. You know, I mean, but that's what pushing yourself and competing in 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 things like this really yeah. you go oh my gosh i'm really good at this yes yes I mean, I'm sure people think i'm good right because my first year at miss texas i was like freaking out on all the type all the speaking yeah. competitions i freaked out in private interview i freaked yeah. out on on stage question i freaked yeah. out on final on stage question i just was not confident but over the years that i've been competing i've learned that i actually am pretty good if you just keep pushing yourself to be uncomfortable Absolutely. And that is the key. You know, it, it's, and this is a common saying, but you, you stop expecting some different results when you keep doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you keep yourself in that little tight, comfortable area, you're never going to know what you can do, nope. you know? Um, and you may be missing out on all these blessings that God has for you. Absolutely. You know? So I love that. I love that. Um, <clears throat> Have you, do you think you've struggled with anything in your life that is helping you be a better Miss Texas America? You know, being biracial, sometimes it can be hard. You know, you have a white side of your family and a black side of your family. You don't really know where to go. You kind of struggle trying to find a place to fit in. And that's also with being a minority and being a daughter of a police officer. You know, yeah. I also struggled with that as well. I was divided myself, which is why my platform came to be because I personally was like, I'm being torn in two different directions. I wonder what the world is being torn into two different yeah. directions. So yeah. I've always kind of had two sides to my life and I've had to honestly unify myself before yeah. I <laughs> into unifying. Exactly. And that's something that I honestly really struggled with. My platform was not Cox in the community when I first started. My wow. dad did not want me to do it. He was like, it's too dangerous. People are going to come after you. I actually advocated for special needs kids because my mom is a special needs teacher. So oh I, I started that as a special needs platform. And then I was just like, you know what? My dad is working here. He's been in the force for 26 years. Yeah. And I really want to advocate for him and make sure that he feels comfortable going to work and not feel that his work is not being appreciated. Absolutely. <clears throat> That is something that I've struggled with, but I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, look, and you know what? That That's a real struggle for, for people. And I love that, you know, when, when anybody's struggling with anything, it's you got to admit what you're, go, okay, what what am I, you know, what, what am I doing? What is my purpose? What do I feel like 
I'm being led to do, yep. you know, with the way I'm, I'm made. And there's a reason I was made this way. And there's only one of me. So what am I doing with it? What am I doing with this? What is my purpose? And I feel like I really found my purpose because I agree. I love it. I just never thought that I would be, first of all, Miss Texas or yeah. advocating for police officers. Yeah. Yeah. Young kids, police officers can be your friends. Like I grew oh, up with people absolutely. just being my friends. So absolutely. I love it. Well, I do love that, especially because in Louisiana, I have lots of family that's in law enforcement. So I have a deeper appreciation of what your platform is because I think it's very important. So and that's how I grew up as well. Yes. And so it's you, 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 we appreciate, but we want, it's important for us to um, express that appreciation and kind of share, you know, that life. Yes. So, so I'm so proud of you. I, I love that. I think it's wonderful. And you're just, your sweet personality, your fun nature just probably makes it so much fun for these kids yes. to be with you. You know, yes. I love it. I love it. Okay, so Ellie, yeah. I'm going to tell me right here on the Kelly Williams Show, okay. what is one thing that people may not know about you? Well, well, okay, that that not very many people know about you. We don't want deep, dark secrets. Okay, but yeah, yeah, no deep, dark secrets. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, let's see, that I, you may not know about me. Uh, I would say, well, my mom's side is from Wisconsin. Oh my goodness. And we love, I personally love to water ski. So you may what? be like, oh, I'm a gymnast a dancer. And I'm like, actually, I can water ski too. There you go. I like it. Like yeah, we just need to get you a water resistant crown. Right. Give me a water resistant <laughs> crown, a water resistant sash. I'll be on the way. Exactly. Down. You're ready. You're just yes. ski. Clean. I love that. That is so fun. See, yeah. that's a really fun fact about you. Yes. I love it. Okay, so right now, we are going to get a word from our show sponsor, Opus Bistro and Steakhouse. Stay tuned because we're going to be right back with more of the amazing Ellie Bro, Miss Texas America. Stay tuned. Looking for a delicious steak or seafood dinner with an amazing, beautiful view? Opus Bistro at the South Shore Harbor Resort is the premier location for the ultimate dining experience. Well, Opus Bistro is one of my favorite places. The bar is vibrant with tasty cocktails and good friends. For larger small groups, our knowledgeable staff is here to serve you. Opus Bistro at South Shore Harbor. Reserve your table now. We're very, very blessed to have Opus Bistro right here in our backyard. All right, guys. Thank you, Opus Bistro. Okay, we're back with the amazing, incredible, brand new Miss Texas America, Ellie Bro, everybody. And um, you can comment, say hi to her this morning. Let us know where you're watching from. <clears throat> um, okay. So, Ellie, you know, becoming Miss Texas America is not only exciting, but you now become a trendsetter for fashion and people yes. who follow you, they're going to watch what you wear, what you do. I want to know what three pieces of clothing um, you really cannot live without. What do you think those are the three best pieces of clothing? Oh, three best pieces. Yeah. That, that make your life easier. My Zara shorts, <laughs> my Zara business shorts, because they're right at like thigh length. So they're what? appropriate, Jeez. but they also snatch the waist. Those oh. I not live without. Yes, go yeah. get your hair. <laughs> exactly. Um, let me think. Obviously, I can't live without my sash. <laughs> exactly. It's a part of my wardrobe. <laughs> exactly. And then I would say my sleep shirt. So <gasps> my sleep shirt literally says my official sleep shirt, and it's a picture of me and then my cat. No. I sleep in it. Like, faithfully that one or my vanessa williams shirt my two oh. that i like sleep in pretty much weekly love it hey you gotta have your vanessa williams shirt gotta have your vanessa williams shirt <laughs> you got to absolutely. one of my favorites yeah absolutely absolutely i love that i love that okay so besides clothes and fashion what are your three top beauty tips you'd love to share with our viewers? Um, that we, you know, staying healthy and fresh. This is very, very important for you because you have appearances all the time, and you yeah. have to look great. 
<laughs> yes. I mean, if I could share <clears throat> any tips, I would. But if I could share like my top three, we were just talking about this. Do not wash your hair every day. It may sound exactly. Bad. But I promise you, your hair needs to contain that moisture. And I am an advocate for natural curly hair. So if you have curly hair, I highly suggest not washing your hair every day, but just to keep it moisturized and sleep in something soap or a scarf just so it can stay. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Not as frizzy. Um, I am also an advocate for water. Mm -hmm. I struggle hydrating myself pretty much all my life. Yeah. But now I've realized water is way more important than I real than I thought. Yeah. So staying hydrated, I always have my Stanley cup with me. No matter where I go. <laughs> I'm like a little yeah. plug there for Stanley cups. Yeah, a little plug for Stanley. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. Also, I personally believe that breakfast, and I think it's pretty much a common thing that breakfast is your most important meal. I try to at least eat maybe like two eggs or a granola bar or something that I can just fill my tummy up for the morning because I may be going pretty much all day with appearances and I may not have a chance to eat lunch or eat dinner. And so having that start meal to start off your day is very important, no matter if you are not hungry. Just fill your stomach up so that way you can go throughout your day. I love that. Um, So great, three great uh, points. Yes. Uh, um, that that will make everybody look and feel better. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Absolutely. so what, what is one accessory you find that you really cannot do without? That if you only had to take one thing with you on an island, you needed that one accessory, what would it be? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. That's a lot. That's hard. One? What? Only one. Just one. You're on a stranded island. No. <laughs> I really cannot live without my cat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and like, or accessories sometimes. So, yes, that's a good one. <laughs> if I'm going to be stranded and I just know that I'm not going to get off this island, I would bring my cat with me because he is my ride or die. <laughs> I love that. That's precious. That's a new answer. I love that. <laughs> I love it. He's my emotional support animal. So, if you're on island, Go ahead and bring your support animal because you'll probably be crying a lot. That's right. I love it. I love it. Okay. So speaking of your cat, um, you know, what, uh, what, what is something um, uh, sentimental that you think you're going to be taking to Miss America? Ooh. If you can't take your cat. If I can't take my cat. Yeah, I can't take her. Poor Fendi. She'll be struggling for a little bit. <laughs> sentimental. Ooh. <laughs> You know, it's cliche to say, but my heart, like, I think I just have such a big heart and I've realized that when I've been competing over the years, but, you know, going to Miss America, there's going to be 50 other girls that have just as big of a heart as me, but we're all unique in our different ways. And my mission being that I'm trying to unify people is what I want to make sure that I showcase while I'm competing as into Miss America. Yeah. It really just goes to show, like my heart. I want to make sure that every aspect that I'm competing in, I'm giving it my heart and my soul and just showing who Ellie is. I love that. I think that's one of the best answers ever. <laughs> Woo, that was good. That was good. I love it. Okay. What do you think you're looking forward most to when you go to compete at Miss America? Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to meeting my Miss America sisters. I have met Miss Oklahoma, Sunny Day, oh. I've met Arkansas, Corey. So I'm just looking forward to meeting all the rest of the girls because we're all just as important as everybody else as Miss America. So I'm just excited to build that bond and create sisters for life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so when do you find out who your roommate is? Not till you get there? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. We don't have a date or location yet. So oh, you okay, that's what I was going to ask you. Okay. Um, I mean, it is early. It is early. You don't, but when did this, do you know when the state pageants finish? Yes. So the state pageants finished in the end of July. So we have come every single state. Okay. okay. Every single that's state. Exciting. Yes, very exciting. Um, but if I could give you like a little hint, I believe it's going to be at the beginning of January. Okay. Location to be determined, but 
I believe December or January is when Miss America will be, and hopefully televised. Yeah, I'm excited to, to find out when and where. Okay, so what are you doing right now? What have you started doing to prepare to compete yeah. at Miss America? So as you know, a title holder, you have to have a school program. So I have really been diving deep into figuring out what I can teach the, the youth. I don't oh, want to yeah. do down into the negatives because they're kids. At the end of the day, they're four or five, six-year-olds. So I've been partnering with Patrol Stories to really get that school program solidified and make sure that my message is being held across, you know, my point is being served. Mm -hmm. And so I've been working with my school program K through five, but also I've been learning how to make a school program six through college. So once you get to those older age kids, they're a little stubborn. I mean, I was a little stubborn myself. So that is the hardest part that I've been trying to figure out how to really get to our youth to understand that yeah. we're all human. So I've been doing that for the past couple of weeks, but I've also been traveling. I went to Austin, Texas, Atlanta, Tech, or Atlanta, Georgia. Oh my goodness! Traveling with Sherry Hill. I'll be going to Vegas wow. on Saturday. So, so I've been traveling, but also working. On, I just finished last was that two weeks ago, I guess. Yeah, two weeks ago, I just finished my last capstone course to finish my bachelor's degree in marketing. So I've been oh. having a month of my life. <laughs> What you're it's crazy. Yes, I was That's very exciting. I was modeling and I was working on my school Miss Texas program. All the oh my goodness. But Bless I your finished mind. school. So that yeah. out, of the, out of the way. So Thank I'm goodness. Modeling and doing a lot of Miss Texas work. Yeah. Oh no, that's wrong. But you know, when you're busy, you get a lot done for some reason. Oh, you get a lot done. Yeah. A lot yeah. done. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so so I want to know right now, um, what advice would you give other young women who are thinking about entering and competing in a pageant? Yeah, just step outside your comfort zone. I never knew what the opportunities this organization could bring me, but now I can proudly say that I'm an established model that I never thought would be possible. I also have very good public speaking skills, and I'm advocating for a passion of mine, cops in the community. You really don't know what opportunities are there if you don't try so getting outside of your comfort zone and just giving yourself a chance to be great at something, that is what this, this organization is all about. And I highly encourage you to just try. I won over $9,000 my first year in scholarships. I was able to pay over two semesters of college. Wow. So Amazing. you don't know until you try. Yeah. That was my first year. I had no idea what I was doing. And I won over $9,000 in scholarships. So just Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. And you know, um, I think people start, well, especially in y'all's generations, you know, because everything is now, I want it now, I want to look like that, I want to, and it's the comparing thing that especially young women have this problem with, yeah. um, instead of appreciating who they are, yeah. and um, I think that competing in a pageant actually helps you, like you said, you know, kind of find out who you are, yeah. and what your talents are, you yeah. know? Absolutely. I mean, you really learn a lot about yourself in this organization. You learn that you can be confident in no matter what situation you're in. You learn that you can appreciate your natural hair. Believe it or not, I was completely blonde in high school. My head was completely blonde. Blonde. What? Curly fried ramen noodle. Curls. <laughs> I am now standing proud with my natural hair. My natural curl pattern. <laughs> yeah, I, love it. I was gonna get to this point. Okay, I thought I was gonna go bald, but I'm just like <laughs> this organization. I'm like, I've won scholarship money. I've established my like. Yeah, you don't know the opportunity. <laughs> so if you're not trying yeah. to do the service, <laughs> exactly. And it's okay to try new things. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> be careful. Like, go back too far. <laughs> exactly. That's hilarious. No, and you know, <laughs> at least uh, at least you still have your hair. Yes. So I'm yeah. it looks great. <laughs> I love it. That's hysterical. Okay, so Ellie, uh, just a real quick pageant question. Do you already have your gown? Or do you have you started looking? I've started looking. Shout out to Sherry Hill. I haven't decided on a gown yet. Yeah. But I personally just love beads. Yeah. Stones. Yeah. Super 
just sparkly over the top that's pretty much who I am if you saw my gowns throughout the years that I've been competing you'll see that I'm in sparkly extravagant <laughs> gown and yeah. that's what I like to bring to the table I'm like yes I can be simple but I want to be a little spicy I want to be absolutely little, you know women can I be spicy? I see that's <laughs> I agree well and, and you know judges want to see confidence yes Yes. That's what they're looking for. Right. And having that slim, figure eight, sexy dress is really what helps me be confident. And so don't be surprised if you see a sexy dress. All right. I can't wait. We're going to be watching. We're going to be watching. I can't wait. Okay. So, Ellie, uh, um, if you could have one superpower, Mm. what would it be and why? Transport. (laughs) (laughs) Houston in Dallas and I everywhere I go there's traffic it's what, awful what is going on like why are we at a standstill I have to be somewhere in 30 minutes I gave exactly. an hour and a half do you see the crown on my head I need to be I have to go I need to go if I could be sure I would because traffic yeah. and if you know if you're listening you know that traffic is bad in Dallas Houston anywhere you go is going to be traffic horrible Horrible, horrible. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna pray about that. Hopefully, one yeah. day we won't have traffic, but I doubt. I, I'm praying right there with you. Well, okay, well, that's a really good superpower. Okay, so if we looked in your refrigerator right now, what would we find? <laughs> and, and well, looking for honest answers. <laughs> you know, honest answers. You're going to find some eggs. I love eggs for breakfast. Yes. You're going to find some old watermelon. <laughs> I just threw mine out last night, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm going to have to throw that out today. Um, you're going to find coffee and oat milk creamer. Okay. And then definitely cheese because I love cheese. I should not eat cheese, but I love it. I, I love it. it. Yeah. And then <laughs> Celsius. I'm a Celsius girl. I love to drink energy drinks. Yeah. So I always have coffee, Celsius, and water. Those are like my three things that I know I have to drink throughout the day to keep nice. Me- Not the greatest thing to do because you got yeah. just caffeine, coffee, <laughs> caffeine. But the water dilutes it, so I'm good. Yeah, exactly. Well, and not that your personality doesn't it doesn't already have a bunch of ca- caffeine. Right. Energy. This is adding like an extra layer of hyper. <laughs> But I'm, I'm telling you, it keeps me going. That's right. Hey, look, and you've got to have a lot of energy on your on your journey yes. right now. Yes. yes. That's hysterical. Okay, so um, Ellie, I cannot thank you enough for joining us today. This has been so much fun getting to Hi. know you. You are precious and amazing, and we are so excited to um to start watching your journey even more as you could get ready to compete for Miss America. Okay. So really quickly, how can um, people follow you on social media? Yes. So you can follow me on Miss America TX. That's my Miss America, Texas account, but also my personal account is tagged right in my Miss America TX account. It's the Ellie bro. It's super simple. Okay. Um, and then on Facebook, it's the same thing. Miss America TX Ellie bro. I'm also on TikTok. I try to, the little groovy groovy on TikTok. You can find me the same exact at with Ellie Bro and Miss America TX. Super mm-hmm. simple, super easy to find me. And then if you just like Google my name, apparently now I just come up. I didn't realize that I Google Ellie Bro, she'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it. Of course. Of course. It's it's so exciting. And um we know you don't have a date yet, but we're gonna be watching for your post and updates. Yes. And um, as soon as I, I see them, I will make sure I repost so people can follow you and, and cheer you on. Absolutely. And Miss America, we're very proud you're Thanks. our Miss Texas America. You're going to do amazing. And this has been so much fun. And Stephanie, good morning. Hi. So glad you got to tune in a little bit. Yes, and can't wait to watch the replay. Um, absolutely. Um, this has been a really, really fun show. Yeah. Um, Ellie. Thank you again. We are so excited for you. We, I thank hope you have an awesome and blessed rest of your day. Guys, yes, thank well. you for, for checking out the Kelly Williams show today. We have been live with the gorgeous and amazing newly crowned Ellie Bro, the 2023 Miss Texas America. 
and uh, and she's about to compete for Miss America. So we're very excited for her. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day. Thank you, Ellie. Bye. See you later. Bye.